It was only a few weeks ago that I was saying how hard it is to keep up with the releases from FMS. Well, here we are again. This is the FJ45 112 scale pickup. And you wait till you see this thing. Loads and loads of scale features, opening doors, removable roof, opening rear hatch, fully licensed, two speed gearbox. It's gonna be so nice. Look how posh this case is. It's a little carry case. Ka-chow. I still get comments when I do FMS videos asking why I always review cheap Chinese junk. If you think this is cheap Chinese junk, then I suggest you find a different hobby. Instructions. Everything you need to know in there, including your ESC parameter setting. You can change your running mode, your battery type, your drag brake, etc. Lots of stuff in there. Always read the manual. Drinking out my under 50k club mug today. Just past 100. What a journey. I should have done an under 100k mug, shouldn't I? Um, where were we? Battery charger. The battery will be in here. Have a look in a minute. Wheel wrench. Some number plates. This little thing, which I think is for, yeah, opening the doors. Steering, throttle, channel three. That's usually your gearbox. Channel fours, um, channel fours usually your lights. And I think, I don't think it's on this one, but if you hold that down on some of their models, it changes from four wheel drive to rear wheel drive. You've got your steering trim, steering jewel rate, throttle trim, throttle jewel rate, steering a throttle reverse. And these little switches here are where you can adjust your setting for your ESC. And this is the truck. It is so nice. We've got a wiper missing. I hope it's in that box. Yes, found it. Just look at how scale this is, man. Nice soft tires. I'm guessing this is the long bed version. Toyota. Bed opens out like that. We'll have a look in a minute, but it's got leaf sprung suspension, but that feels nice. Leaf sprung's usually really stiff, but that does feel good. Details on the doors, really nice metallic green color. It's hard to tell on the camera, but that's like a off white color roof. Check out that interior, I think you're gonna get a driver in there without having to chop their legs off. Quite a bit of leg room there, oh, I don't know. We might have to do a little bit of modification, but I've got a driver lined up. That is so nice in there. Can't see the instructions where it tells you how to take the roof off, but as you can see there, it does come off. It looks like it just maybe clips in there. I'm not gonna take it off in this video, I just think it looks so good like that, but do take some care if you are removing it. It doesn't look like it's screwed on. I think, I'm sure it just clips in there at the top, but we're gonna run it like that. That's cool, that opens all the way up, full access in here. 7.4 volt, 380 milliamp hour LiPo. There's all your electronics in there, that's your on off switch. That grill, look at all the switches and stuff on that grill. Interested to see what these lights do. Right, I'm gonna stick the battery on charge and then we'll have a look at the functions and then we're gonna take this thing for a run. Right, so power is on. Press channel four, that switches your lights. So you got normal lights, press it again, they go a bit brighter i don't think you'll see it but they just go a little bit brighter now it does have turn signals but the good news is i'll start turning now it's about maybe 25 percent steering and then they come on so when you're normal driving it shouldn't be an issue there's nothing worse than flicking on and off when you're just making small movements on your steering. Still not a massive fan of them, but that is better. And then some more improvements on the back. We can have rear lights on and then ready for reverse. We got proper reverse lights as well, not just red lights coming on when we reverse. Good improvements on the lights, FMS. I like it. Right, the steering angles aren't anything to write home about on these, but it's adequate. I just remembered, I forgot to show you underneath. So there you go underneath, you've got your gearbox there that goes into a transfer case which then goes to the rear and then the front axle. I've not opened them up, but I am pretty sure it's metal gears. I like the forward positioned motor there with the transfer case. You've got a servo there for your gear shifts. You've got your steering servo there. And then there's another servo just up there. And that would be for your steering wheel. Very nice. So two speeds are in the high speed at the moment. Switch channel three. And then there's your low speed crawling. And when I say low speed, it is very low speed. Check this out. How about that, eh, for some modulation? How about that? Wow. 
Here we are, Springwoods RC. If you've not been here, if you're local-ish, or even if you're not local, this place is awesome, down in Nottingham. I'll leave a link to uh, some more information in the description, but let's get Buzz Lightyear, who's our driver today. I think the word you're searching for is Space Ranger. To infinity and beyond. Let's go give this thing a little trail. We're in low speed at the moment. A lot of this here is actually one tenth. There is some small scale stuff as well, but let's just take this thing around and uh, see how far we get with it. So at very low speeds, there is a little bit of pulsing. I think that's the best way to describe it. I mean, there's not at that speed, that is crazy low, but it does, you can just sort of see, look, it's pulsing a little bit. I guess that's to do with the gearing, but it does give you lots of control. Gonna try and get it over here without falling in the water, because that's quite deep. And I'm not sure if Buzz can swim. Whoa, whoa, don't speak too soon. Come on, there we go. With the right line. Come on. Come on. Oh, I think we bottomed it out. A little bit too much for you. I've got myself in a bit of a predicament here. I need to get down off, I can't go down there, right. That is so close to falling in. Back up, back up, back up. Uh oh. <laughs> oh shit. Come on, Buzz, don't fall, no. <laughs> Gee, five minutes and we nearly went in. <laughs> gotcha. Yep, that'll do. We are 112. There we go, a little bit more appropriate for scale. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I didn't go in the water through the car wash. We've not got it dirty yet, but I love this little car wash, it's so cool. So cool. Problem is, everything at the moment, being a time of year, is wet and leaves everywhere, so I'm just gonna struggle. Let's see if it'll get up here. This is, it looks like granite or something. It does look like granite. See how these tires grip on some damp rock. Come on, just not enough to climb. I love how this thing looks, it just looks so nice. I like the soft leaf sprung suspension. What a nice little truck. If anything, it just looks good in this environment, doesn't it? Speed and power. <laughs> So there we go, back from a little adventure out. Nice little carry case this, keeps it protected. We've got a little bit of mud on them wheels. So really nice truck, really nice trail truck. Not much of a crawler though. That low slung ride height and that bumper sticking out the front there did cause me to get hung up quite a bit. Not a great ride height. And with the back hanging so far like that, departure angle. Not great. Super scale trail truck, yes. Lots of control, yes. Crazy good mini crawler. Let's see what Buzz Lightyear has to say about that. I am Mrs. Nesbitt. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cheers for watching, guys. Links to this in the description.